What up guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Asm's Prediction and Vlogging Channel. Uh, sorry it's been near enough a month for me not posting. Um, I've had a lot going on recently, um, over the last month. So I haven't been posting, obviously. Um, but we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. We are back, we are back on the channel with Prem Predictions as the Premtons literally tomorrow um obviously the championship started last weekend so and i forgot the post so obviously i'm gonna be giving you obviously like my print predictions first um and overall like how the table's gonna go and then like obviously what happens in the prems with the top goal scorer top assist they like that um then also go on to championship the championship prediction and then i'll go on to do um obviously the same as the prem uh but let's get into it um so in first position without a doubt i'm going manchester city you look at the signings they've brought in okay they've lost um gabriel jesus at raheem sterling and um zinchenko they have brought in some good players like like eric uh eric Erling Haaland, Junior Alvarez, um, who else? Uh, and they've got that squad depth. I reckon Manchester City will just be champions again. No doubt. No doubt there. Second, I've gone Liverpool. Just purely based on they've lost Sadio Mane, but then they've brought in the likes of Calvin Ramsey, um, Darwin Nunes, um, who else? Who else have they brought in? They've brought in a couple of other players, but I don't think they will challenge Man City this year. I honestly don't. I think they will finish second. Third, I've gone for Chelsea. Obviously, Chelsea signing the likes of Raheem Sterling. Um, obviously, Lukaku going out the door. Um, but I think Chelsea will be up there somewhere, even if they're not. Um, fourth, I've got Spurs. Obviously, the signings they've made. I think they're good. They're, they're, they're gel together. But they won't gel like in time for the first like for the, for the first year of the prem um fifth i've got arsenal again obviously um arsenal they've brought in like gabriel jesus um who else? zinchenko um they're looking to make some other signings um Obviously, yes, they've lost, like, the likes of Andrew Lacazette. The, um, oh, Pierre, Eric Aubameyang. Those sorts of players. But to bring in Gabriel Jesus and Zinchenko, they're two good sign-ins. But I think it won't be enough to get Champions League. In sixth, I've got Man United. And I only put him in sixth because if Ronaldo leaves, then they've got to find a new striker. And that striker's not going to gel in time. Um, they have the squad depth. They're really good. But I think if Ronaldo does leave, they won't get a striker in time. Seventh, I've gone West Ham. Now, this was a bit of a funny one because it was between Newcastle and West Ham. And I went West Ham, obviously, just purely based on the fact that um, they could they, they could they could make some surprising signings. And that's all I'm going to say. Eighth, I've got Newcastle. I think Newcastle, they've got, like, they've got the squad depth. And they've got 
the, they've got like they've got a good manager. But will I think they will push for seventh? Yes. Do I think they will get it? Possibly. I think Gimarez will go off and score. Wilson coming in to produce. Um, obviously, Nick Pope coming in. The Bradka's going to be fighting for the number one spot in goal. Um, so, yeah, my seventh place, my eighth place, even, is Newcastle. Ninth, I've gone Wolves. I put Wolves in ninth, obviously, because they're making some incredible signings. Yes, there are rumours that Raul Jimenez and Ruben Neves could go. But will I think that will happen? No. Will I think Wolves will get Europa League? No. I think with Wolves not having any, like, European Cup games is good for them because they can focus on the Prem. My 10th place and just making the top 10 Aston Villa. Aston Villa brought in Steven Gerrard. They went and signed Coutinho. They went and signed uh, let me ask think they went and signed um Buendia. They've brought in they've brought in some incredible signings this this transfer window. Do I think they will gel in time and get top top eight, top nine? No. Top ten finish will be good. Now in my eleventh place some people may disagree with me. I've gone Leicester City. Now, Leicester City, they've lost Kasper Schmeichel. No keeper is in yet to replace him. They have no keeper in their the replacement. Tiedemans and Madison are linked away from the King Power. Obviously, Tiedemans linked with Arsenal, Newcastle, trying to get after Madison. Vardy injured for that, like, most of last season. Um, but I don't think they will get that push and um, I think if Tielemans and Madison do leave then it would be a huge blow to Leicester. 12. Uh, I've gone for an unparticular one and I've gone for Brighton. Obviously Graham Potter are in charge. He will play the way he wants to play. Obviously, the squad depth is there, but it's not at the very standard depth. I don't think Brighton will get that top 10. Obviously, and then below them, obviously, it's their arch rivals, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, yes, okay, they've got that squad depth. They've got some good players like Zaha and um, Edward and Mitchell and all that. I don't think they will do this well. I'm not going to lie. I don't think they will do well. In my 14th spot. I've got Brentford. Now. Brentford they. They climbed up the table. And that was purely because Ericsson came in. They've now lost Ericsson. They're making a couple of sign-ins. I don't think I um, would like the new Prem's team coming up with the new Premier League teams coming in. Obviously, like the likes of Nottingham Forest, Fulham, and Bournemouth. Don't think they will. Don't think they will try and like hold wins to them. So yeah, fourteenth I've gone Brentford. Fifteenth I've gone Everton, just purely on the fa fact that. Um, Obviously, they're losing players. Obviously, Charleston has gone to Tottenham. Um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, he's going to be injured. Uh, he will get injured. Anthony Gordon, he's linked away for a move. Um, 
So I don't think Everton will reach top 12. 15th will do it for them. And that's where I'm sticking them. 16th, I've gone for the new lads. Nottingham Forest. Steve Cooper's in charge. Brennan Johnson. Lyle Taylor. Who else? Um, they've got this passion. And I think Steve Cooper will keep them up in the pram. They will do a Brentford and stay up. Forest to finish 16th. Now, this may surprise some people. I've got Leeds as my 17th team. Just surviving, but they're battling relegation. Leeds, they don't have this squad depth. Bamford was injured. Dan James come in at a late stage. Rafinha's leaving. Uh, Rafinha's left, sorry. Calvin Phillips has left. Their good players are either injured or have left. So I don't think Leeds will do this well season. So I'm sticking them in 17. Another shocker that will may shock people is Southampton in 18th. Yes, okay, Ralph and Hart Ho Hootles in charge. I don't think he will do well. I don't think with this season they've got that gel enough I don't think that they've got the players to actually go off and get that get that top 15 probably top 10 as well and then the two last say so 19th I've got Fulham no explanation there yes I think Mitrovic could go and score 10 goals in the Prem I don't think it'd be enough to stay up though and Bournemouth in last Bournemouth, they've got like the likes of Dominic Solanke and um, David Brooks and, oh, uh, yeah. They've got, like, best players. So, I've put them last. And that's just because I don't think they will gel in time. And I don't think Scott Parker will keep them up. I'm now going to go on to like the top goal scorer, top assist, golden glove, player of the season, young player of the season, manager of the season, dark courses, uh, underachieving team, best performing promoted team, and then uh, first manager to get sacked, and then who I think will be the flop. So, top goal scorer, it's obvious. It's going to be Haaland. I think Nuni is just below him, but what can we say? Top assister, this was a hard one. It was between De Bruyne and Son and Salah and Trent. Out of those four, looking at performances, I think Son will get top assister. Golden Glove, I think Edison. Obviously, with the back line, I don't think no team will get through. I don't, like, I don't think... Ed Edison will have to put that many saves in, but he will get Golden Glove. Young player of the season. I've gone Brennan Johnson. Just purely based on last season, he was keeping the movement of the flow going. He wanted to play in that attacking role. So I think he will get Young player of the season. My of the season, there's no, there's no arguing here. Pat Guardiola. No explanation, just Pep Guardiola. Dark Horses, I think, will be Newcastle. Um, I just I just feel like Newcastle are going to be one of those teams that are going to be looking for... Um, like... They're, they're, they're trying to be the Dark Horses around teams. Underachieving team, I've gone Spurs. I don't think Spurs are winning anything this year. I don't think they will. Uh, best performing promoted team, I went Nottingham Forest. No explanation. First manager to get sacked, Marco Silva. I think if he goes on four bad runs of losses, he will be the first manager to get sacked. And then flop of the season, 
Darwin Nunez. I think Nunez will have a flop this season, honestly, with it being his first time in the English Football League. I do think that he will, um, yeah, he, he, he will flop. I'm now going to move on to the championship predictions. So, obviously, champions of the, prem, uh, the championship, Norwich City. There's this thing between them and Fulham. Fulham go up, Norwich come down. Norwich go up, Fulham come down. And I think one day, well, it will just, it will stick. Norwich and Fulham will be up there. My second place, I've gone Watford. I don't think, obviously, they'll get playoffs. I don't think they'll be anywhere else in the championship. Um, so, yeah, Watford runners up. Third place, Burnley, no explanation. Fourth, playoff winners as well, Sheffield United. Now, I only put Sheffield United in there because they have that squad depth. Uh, fifth, Huddersfield. Sixth, Sunderland. I think they'd be looking to go back up to the Prem. Just missing out on the playoffs will be Middlesbrough. Ninth, Coventry. Tenth, Blackburn. No, sorry. Eighth, Coventry. Ninth, West Brom. Blackburn, tenth. Lou in 11th, Bristol City 12th, QPR 13th, Swansea City up at 14th. I think these will be one of the, I think this will be one of the teams that will be looking to try and get top 10, but it won't happen. Um, but I think 14th will do it for them. Stoke followed by Blackpool, followed by Millwall, followed by Hull, followed by Preston, followed by Cardiff, followed by Birmingham, and then the bottom three. Reading, Rotherham, Wigan. Top goal scorer, I think Pukki. Top assister, Semenyo. Golden Glove, Krull. Player of the season, Maxwell Corney, if he doesn't leave Burnley. Young player of the season, I'm going Alex Scott. Manager of the season, Paul Heggenbottom. Dark Horses, Sheffield United, underachieving team, Wigan, best performing prem, Premier League relegated team, Watford, uh, best performing League One promoted team, Sunderland, first manager to get sacked, I think will be Dean Smith, and then the flop will be Kane Wilson of Bristol City. Um, so that is the Prem and Championship predictions done. I do have a, another video coming out, hopefully tonight, where I will be um, predicting, obviously, Game Week 1 of Prem, Game Week 2 for EFL's Championship D1 and League 2. Um, if you could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, that would be brilliant. I'm going to gain out, guys. Peace out.